Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this is Shad Dynasty and I don't actually do videos like this, but I kind of got screwed over by Trigger King, so I want to do a video where I mod my controller the way uh, I like uh, and basically tell you that Trigger Kings don't work. They are basically garbage. They're made of a cheap plastic. They have an adhesive on the back. Uh, they have one uh, adjustment screw here and another adjustment screw on the side. So let me show you basically what happens with Trigger King. Uh, essentially, um, this screw on the side is meant to stop your trigger. What happens is that that screw, if you look at it closely, is not exactly aligned uh, with the edge of the controller. And the plastic that they have is very cheap plastic. So as the screw goes all the way down, when you start pulling on this, it will actually go sideways and it will leave a gash in your controller, much like this one right here. Um, so, and, and basically when, when you actually pull the trigger, you're, you're putting pressure on it in, in a way that makes the adhesive actually come up. So if I pull this with any sort of force, this entire thing just falls apart and they're pretty much useless. So what I did like about the Trigger King was that it came with a nifty little screw here. And I figured I could probably do something with the screw that small to actually make what I wanted, which was a legit trigger stop. So hold on real quick, I'm gonna pull this screw out and show you my mod on the controller that I already have. Uh, the controller on the left is actually my test controller. So I've already modded this one and it worked. And so uh, I wanted to try it on my regular one. So I modded this one and it worked. And essentially all we're doing here is, is, getting, uh, is taking a drill bit, drilling into the controller and, and putting a screw there. So uh, the first thing that you have to do is you have to decide where you want your trigger to stop. So you'll see I put some markings on this and the place I want the trigger to stop is right about there, right when my markings go away. So I'm gonna drill a hole just above that mark so that we can make sure that this works. So I pulled off all other controller mods, my strike pack and everything to make this just a basic controller while I make this drill this hole so that uh, nothing wobbles or, or has any problems. So we're gonna drill this hole. I got a nice uh, Black & Decker Dremel tool here with a tiny, tiny little uh, little drill bit. I got these for like, like $5. I got like a whole pack, of, a whole kit of things. So uh, we're gonna drill a hole. Make sure you get in the right spot. Right. So basically you just kind of set the drill bit on there until it finally gets into the spot you want and then eventually it will catch and make a hole. And that's it. Now I'm going to install the trigger stop. I just have a tiny little screw and a tiny little screwdriver. And now I have two trigger stops. Thank you, Trigger King, for your awesome screws. Although I have a feeling that you can pick these up anywhere, Home Depot, really any hardware store will probably have some sort of screws like this. You can probably even get them on, on Amazon. Not too bad, right? Okay, so now I have my trigger stop. Uh, and if uh, my next modification I'm probably going to do is uh, find some sort of uh, spacer I can put into the front or yeah into the front right here and attach it so that I can lower the dead zone because there is a, a time where as you push this nothing's happening. So if you push it down just a little bit further then you'll have less dead zone on your controller. And that's it.